These doctors say they plan to stay away from work until the Kenyan government hears their grievances. They're demanding better working conditions. They also want more doctors employed at understaffed state hospitals. These complaints are not new and date back seven years. That strike lasted a hundred days. The consequences for the healthcare system were devastating. Some patients died. A deal was reached, but doctors say the agreement has not been fully implemented and renewed negotiations haven't resulted in much. We still have to continue having talks because whatever the government was proposing yesterday is unheard of. You see, Kenya has ratified ILO conventions and we protect and uh, uh, enjoy the right to collective bargaining. So the gains that we secured in the year 2017 that the government now is choosing to go back, backtracking on. So we stand together as doctors to say no. Most of the 5,000 doctors have stayed home for more than a week now. Some hospitals have stopped admitting patients and halted emergency and specialized services that only doctors can provide. A majority of Kenyans can't afford private health care. Many of those who are here today are young doctors. Some say they don't even have a proper legal contract to practice, yet they continue to do the work uh, in government hospitals. So they say that they want their rights and they will not stop until their grievances are addressed. The striking doctors are also calling for the hiring of interns who say they are bearing the brunt of workloads at state hospitals for relatively low salaries. We graduated eight months ago. We submitted all our names to the Ministry of Health. Until today, they have not posted us. They have been threatening to, to delay our posting, threatening to post us next year, threatening to reduce our salaries. It's not fair, and we've had enough. The Health Ministry says it can't afford the more than $36 million it estimates it needs to hire more staff. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.